Here's an incoming alarm. The app comes with several built-in alarm noises. We've cleaned up the overview page so that the details don't get chopped off and things wrap nicely. Tap the button and the server quickly comes back with confirmation of your status. There's a list of everyone else who is currently responding to the same alarm that you are. People without smartphones can text back the letter R and you'll see them appear in this list. iPhone, Android, and Blackberry users will appear here automatically. Tap the address to jump to the map. The map automatically draws a route from you to the call destination. You can tap on the directions button to get driving directions. Back in the map view, you can tap the center button to switch to a satellite or hybrid view. The map also shows the current real-time position of everyone else who is responding. As their status changes, the tag will update, and as they drive around, the tag will move. Anyone using the new app will automatically appear in the map unless they disable the GPS. Android users have to tap the More Info button in CAD page to go to the Mobile Response page, then set themselves as responding. BlackBerry users, tap the link and set yourself as responding to appear here. Looking around, we see other icons listed here. This hydrant icon is just one example that you can choose. If you tap on the icon, you'll see details about it and also any attachments. Attachments can be photos, spreadsheets, documents, etc. Tap on the document and it loads from the server. This is great for uploading pre-incident plans, hazard photos, bridge weight limits, and whatever else you find useful. Backing all the way out, you see a list of all past alarms. Tapping on the personnel view shows a list of all personnel who belong to our agency. If we haven't seen them respond recently, they are listed with no details. If we have a position for them that is less than 6 minutes old, you're given their distance to you in miles or kilometers. If we have response activity less than an hour old, that response line is listed. This list updates in real time as you watch. In the settings page, we can see where you can select a ringtone. We also introduce a way for you to set yourself off duty so you won't get pages. The auto setting here allows the server to track uh, your schedule and automatically put you on or off duty. At the bottom you see a button to clear all pages. Just above it, however, is a new feature called Page Groups. It's listed as groups here. This allows you to assign groups within your department. For example, different stations or truck companies. Each group can be paged separately and this is where you choose which groups you are a part of. This will determine which pages you get. This setting is not fully activated on the server but should be operational later this year. Administrators will be able to lock this feature down if they choose. That's all for the moment. Enjoy!